Welcome, folks. Welcome back, folks. I mean, I mean, welcome, folks, to. Oh, if stop ever shuts up. Anyway, this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Thankfully, I got a new computer, so it's time to do it. Welcome to the 13th Doll, the fan game of the 7th Guest. My old computer couldn't handle this game, but now I'm going to try it for the first time. I've already uh, did one of the puzzles already, so, you know, I do know how to do the first one. So it's not entirely blind, but mostly blind at this point. Anyway, let's start new game. Stuff built a house that he did. That he did too. Yep. Yes, they did. That he did. Mm hmm. Creepy. Hmm, interesting. So that's what Ted looks like now as an adult. Interesting. And he's in an insane asylum. Of course he is. I mean, wouldn't you, ex would you expect nothing less from him? being in Stop's mansion as a kid, that would screw you up for life. <laughs> Alright. Deepwood Sanitarium for the Mentally Insane. Yep. That's where, that's where Tad is locked up now. Alright. Start so here's that spooky mansion again. Attic Door Predictions presents... The Thirteenth Doll, a fan game of the seventh guest. Producer Ryan Holt Camp, programmer Matt Goschel, music Chris Bolmrand, filming and FX, 3D art James Bateman, casting Peter Goodman, marketing Chris Weitzel, costumes Erica Cole, story by Chris Bormand, Ryan Holt Camp, Robert Hirschbeck, oh! Stoff wrote this. Interesting. Starring Robert Hirschback. Yep, he's back as Stoff. Uh, and yet he's still as creepy and crazy as ever. Love the music. It's a good uh, cover of the original song. Based on characters created by Trilobite.
Well, if you, uh, it's not actually. That's what you think. That's what you think. This guy is not a very nice guy. He's a huge asshole. I see. He's like the uh, Dr. Thornfield is like the old way of doing treating mental patients, and the uh, Dr. Uh, Renfield is. I mean, Dr. What's his name? Dr. Richmond is the new way of treating with. Well, this bitch is kind of an asshole, too. for me to try then. Wow, what an asshole. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so, oh yeah, here's where we get to choose our character. Now, you can play as Dr. Richmond, or you can play as Tan. Well, since I was playing as Dr. Richmond to start with in the 
I've already done the first puzzle with him. So I'm going to just continue on with him. And then I believe there's like several different endings to this game. And you can get different endings with each character. So I'm going to go with Dr. Richmond first. I'm going to solve my first puzzle and then I'm going to end this video. So let's see if I can... Uh, Anyway, the first puzzle is in here. See, I've already done some of this already. Let's see here. I believe... Yeah, there's the first puzzle right there. And just like in the original seven, yes, the pulsing brain indicates puzzle. Let's see what else we got to look at. Let's see if I can remember how to move around in this game, because it's a little bit different. Use the arrow keys to walk around the uh, room. You get different little cutscenes here that don't really, I don't think, serve much purpose. Like, ooh, you can roll the, you can move the globe around. Doesn't serve any purpose though. It's cool looking though. Right, what else can we do here? I think these books serve no purpose. But let's see. They don't serve any purpose, do they? No, you can look up and down at the bookshelves though. But I don't believe they do anything. And I don't think we can do a thing to these cabinets either, so. Hmm. After we. However, we can do something with this uh, thing right here. It's basically more animations that serve no purpose. Like, ooh, it swirls around like that. Neat. Really, the only main purpose in this room is this right here the puzzle. Yeah, let's see what's in his file. Yeah, this is another... This is uh, the puzzle right here. The person needs to flip to the X. The arrows change the paper's direction. Let's see if I remember how this worked. Because I did it once by blind luck. So let's see here. It has limited stuff length, so it cannot be unfolded indefinitely. Click here for a hint. Alright, let's click the hints. Move to guess the X by unrolling the paper strips. Yeah, I know. I know how that works. Alright, so anyway, click here, and then I'll let you can go this way. If you click this button, you'll just keep going up. Let's see if this works. I think this is correct. I believe we're correct, but I could be wrong. Now we can go up. Then we want to, uh, I think, this way, right? We can uh, do this, I believe. Hmm. Can I go this way? Yes, I can. Okay, the woman in white is basically, I guess, the ghost from the first game. And she's basically taunts whoever you play as. Alright, so then we go this way. And I think we can go... Go this way, right? Yes, we can. All right, I think we can go up now. Yes, we can. Ta-da! Did it. Damn right, made it. That puzzle wasn't this hard the first. The, the second time as it was the first time. Once I figured out what I was supposed to do. Yeah, you do. Hmm. Yes. Yes, there it does. But anyway, I'm going to save. Now that I've finished that puzzle again, let's go a quick save. Menu. How do we save? Can we save? Yes, we can. All right, let's go ahead and save. Save game. Choose save location. Enter save name. We're going to call this one LP1. All right. Well, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more 13th Doll. Stay tuned for future videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave comments, click the bell, and subscribe button to keep you updated about future videos I upload. And I will see you next time when we tackle whatever else this game has in store for us. But for now, bye bye.